Hello, this is Mitchell, and this is going to be a short video about update 24, this is now on the test server. One of the big things in this update is the new tier 4 inner sanctum alert, but that was covered in the last video, so I'm going to talk about the seasonal and some of the other patch notes. St. Patrick's Day, so the new seasonal. It's got a new entry for it. This is Oracle. You're going to have to bear with me here. Metropolis seems to have... A leprechaun problem. It's Mr. Mixius Spitalik, an imp from the fifth dimension. He's set up shop in the watchtower and is trying to annoy us all to death. Do me a favor and see what he wants. Greetings and salutations, Earth idiot. I am Mr. Mixius Spitalik, a being from the fifth dimension. I understand you Earth chumps have a legend about little green men. <laughs> Well, how could I resist? Gather all 33 of me golden coins from pots of gold all over Metropolis. If you can. <laughs> right. Well, I'll show you the um, rewards first. Pot of gold base item. Trinket that stuns. The usual brews. Two new styles. And the usual stuff. You might be able to remember what you have to do here. Couple of taps to drop it. Get your hands off of me, golden coins! Oh, now aren't these little ankle biters adorable? And he's just there to be annoying. Drop stuff on you, spawn stuff. Obviously I'm just cheating and popping a shield, but... <laughs> And that's what you have to do. As you can see, they're not hard to find. Help! Help! And it does do different things on each one. Hands off the stash, Earth chump! Those are my oh. golden coins. Hmm, didn't do anything there. Psych! Fool! Wonder why that was green? That's a new one. See what it does if you do it, no. You think you can roll me? I'll roll you. The gold ATM is now closed for business. Go get a real job. And when you've done all that, just head back to him. Ha, oh, all me golden coins. You're sure swell at jumping through hoops, bucko. Here's a little reward. Come back and play again. Excellent. You collected Mr. Mixius Spitalix coins. Maybe now he will leave. <sighs> if Superman can't force him out of this dimension, no one can. Five clothes as a reward. Another great thing in the update is they've increased the max slot purchases. So you can now uh, purchase more slot upgrades from the marketplace for your character, inventory, bank and broker slots. There's also been a mail service update and your mails will now display their age and have a colour coded system in place to help players recognise how old their mail is. This is in preparation for a system that they're going to bring online that will start deleting mails at older than 30 days. They've also put some limits on the mail archive. Free players can archive up to 10 in-game mails, premium can archive 50 and legendary 100. 
One of the other new features is in the video settings, which is character outlines. You can turn that on and uh, change the fade distance. And this basically means that uh, when there's loads of stuff happening, loads of effects, that there'll be an outline on your character, on your mates, and on the enemies. I'll try and show you how this works, if it's going to pop up here. Right, we can see it's working on me, and on that enemy on the right there. And it does fade as well when you get out of it. So it's not going to look ugly for too long. They have made a small change to the way healing's calculated for uh, tanks and controllers. When healing is calculated, dominance is now added directly to your restoration and the two stats combined to determine the final value. Depending how you're geared, you may see either a small increase or no change at all. This uh, directly affects the following abilities. Envelop, Absorb Heat, Backdraft, Burning Determination, Burnout, Consume Objects, Fire Weapon, Overheat, Stoke Flames, Eternal Flame, Reignition, Anesthetic, Hibernation, Ice Elemental, Word of Power, Restore, Triage and Convalescence. There's also been a change to Tactical Mods. Your Tactical Mods no longer show uh, the age of it and the decay time. They now show what required uh, thing they need and a description of the mod. If the mod is no longer usable the um, required trait will show red and the description will be greyed out. And <laughs> interesting changes they made to Orbital Strikes is that it will no longer make uncontrollable NPCs controllable so that means you can no longer turn Brainiac into a ghost and also sweeping combos will now properly work with whirlwind attack. There's been a small change to a couple of the power sets. In fire, in flame, correctly gives you a 10% control resistance in tank roll and not during DPS roll. And meteor has been changed so that it no longer blows up instantly if you lose your target. In nature, the healing components of both savage growth and harvest will now hit up to 16 targets, bringing it in line with other area of effects heals. In both Sorcerer and Ice, in the Arbiter of Destiny and the Ice Elemental, they've added a new Return to Normal ability that can be put on the loadout. That's it for now. Thank you for watching, and remember to check out our first video, which is about the Inner Sanctum T4 alert. Goodbye.